Hello everyone, my name is Christian Niculescu and today I will present you a new future for the connector for ServiceNow from UiPath Go. So this new future is support for variable in ServiceNow. I know that it's a very uh, requested feature. Let's see. So uh, on UiPath, you go to manage package, write ServiceNow, and you will download from all packages UiPath in ServiceNow activities. And you have version 264 seven or more yeah so what you have you have here around 65 activities that allow you to work with service now now i made also a redesign of the activities so um, you know in the new uh, uapath studio 2090.10 it was a problem with the layout with my activities and now i fix all the stuff also here uh, the system was not able to um, uh, the system was not able to remember all the selection that you have from um, this get data wizard so it's also this one it's fixed so basically i can go and do something on the incident and you will see if i hit save so incident i will go on the incident um, i will test the connection uh, and uh, now if i select some stuff so let's say that i select uh, uh, number of the incident. Um, uh, if I select uh, some elements here, this one, uh, this one, um, and I will do some um, some settings. When I save and come back to this one, I will see that uh, he remembered the, the things that I did. Yeah. Okay let's uh, so he will remember also the output here on the output uh, he will remember if i save something so i will do a uh, query so basically he will uh, remember everything so i select here to uh, to get the numbers that contains 05 and here is my result yeah so this is all the incident where the number contains um, uh, 05 so what means remain uh, remember the idea is like this if I will hit save, he will save all this stuff in memory. So when I enter back on this one, if I go here, he will know that I select the number and the value, yeah? And he will know also the things that I select here. I mean, the created, the number, the system ID. So the, uh, the window, remember, um, everything is not uh, like the old stuff where uh, you have to restart everything from zero. Good. A lot of uh, people work only with name here. So there are a lot of developers that work only with name. So basically you can have directly also the name of the table. Yeah, like this. Now let's see on what is new. So uh, thanks to um, one of our clients that helped me to understand, we have now get variables and update variables. So first, uh, I want to say a huge thank you to Ladislav Zan that explained me a lot of stuff about the variables and uh, explained me how to work with variables inside of um, ServiceNow. Let's understand the, uh, the idea. Yeah. So basically, you can have a variable on a request item. Yeah. And uh, this is the structure internally to, uh, uh, to update the variable. And let's see inside of the service now um, connector where uh, you can do stuff with the variable. So we'll talk about the request item. And when you create a request item, you can have variables. Yeah. So I will work with this one. And here I have a lot of variables. So first, let's get the variables. Yeah. So I will take this number. Yeah. And I will go inside of the service now connector. And I will drag and drop get variables. On the get variables, I have to provide him the request number. So I will provide him the, uh, the request number. The request item number will be this one. Yeah? And the system will be able to give me, so I can manage search on the variables and so on. But by default, he will be able to give me all the variables. So you see all the variables that I have on my request item. So this is all my variables with the name of the variables and with um, value and also with ID. Now, 
you can go and configure what you want here. Uh, I'm not connected and that, that's the that's the error. So you can go and configure uh, what you want here to, to show. But let's update the city, for example, yeah? So let's uh, go. Is the city is London now, yeah? It's in London. And I will hit save. And I will uh, do a connection. And now I will update the, uh, this one, I don't need it. Uh, I will update a variable. So to update the variable, what I will do? <laughs> I will go here and put, I can put the number or the system uh, ID for the um, item request. But in my case, I'll put a number, it will be easy, yeah? The variable name was city, okay? City, and instead of London, we'll put it to Paris. Paris, yeah? Okay, so let's, uh, let's run this one. This is not an, um, let's deactivate this one, and this one is activated. And I'll run this one on the um, um, runtime. And we'll see the change. Okay, so everything is on the background, and we'll see the change. We'll see it directly on uh, UiPath Studio because it's much easier. So let's back, go back here on the UiPath Studio, enable this one. Let's make a test connection, and let's do the um, um, the view. So let's run this one, and the result here. It's Paris, so I was able to change the variable for this one. Okay, so the variables are um, in service now here. When you create, in my service now, when you create a request, I have um, for the item, I have destination, address line, so variables. Now, based on the things that I implement, so I make an update on this table, AC item option. If you will have another structure, on your service now. Please contact me and I can create an update dynamically where you can select all these tables. All these tables here are connected. It's the uh, required item with item option mount a new option. If you have other stuff on, on your service now, I can make a dynamical one. But to be able to, uh, to update this table, you need to be careful with the permission. So you need to talk with your administrator to see that you have an update, a writer role to this table. Yeah, if you want something else, for example, to insert on the table or to delete from the table, tell me and I will create activities for, for this. And this I hope that will help you to work with variables in service now. Uh, before um, uh, we finish, remember you can go on uh, my YouTube channel Christian Negulescu, and here you have a lot of connectors for Jira, ServiceNow, Salesforce, NetSuite, Freshdesk, and so on. So you have a lot of videos. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.